What was supposed to take until the end of the month to fix only took days after our Ronnie doll got involved. And tonight neighbors are praising the quick action. Ronnie is back along the Lodge Freeway service drive where the story all started. So Ronnie, what's the update? Well, it was Tuesday when I started asking the questions after noticing some of the public lighting crews cutting down the metal poles on the old street lights. They were leaving the bases behind that created a hazard for the neighbors, including small kids. And quite frankly, it was unacceptable. Well, tonight, take a look. The problem is fixed. Neighbors welcomed the working LED street lights along the Lodge Freeway Service Drive. Once they were installed, the old non-functioning poles had to go. So one by one, crews cut them down, but the rusted out foundations were left behind. Only now, they had sharp, jagged edges where the pole was removed. They were hazardous, especially to small kids who had to pass them on their way to school. A slight touch left Jerome Curry bleeding. I didn't think it was that bad, though. And look at the blood come gushing out. Right, right. That's what happens. Hours after my first story aired, the Public Lighting Authority sent a crew out to cover the rough metal edges with tape. They also put cones on some and barrels over others. It was a temporary fix. I was told they would all be removed by the end of the month. They need to get them all the way completely up out of here. You say by the end of the month, right? We hope they do that. Because <laughs> you know we'll be checking. Right. Well, the end of the month came much sooner. They said by the end of the month. And it's not even the end of the week. <laughs> Bright and early Thursday morning, crews were out with heavy equipment, removing the rusted out metal foundations. I really, really want to thank them for coming out and doing their job. I, I'm, I'm sorry you had to set a fire under them like that, but it worked. They were pulled out of the ground, loaded up to be hauled away, just like the neighbor's worries. I'm sure glad Channel 7 is on our side. I really am. And we're happy to be on your side as well. Thank you for calling us and thank you to the Public Lighting Authority for addressing this problem. All of the light pole bases along the freeway on both sides have been removed. Some quick action. Neighbors are very grateful. For now, we're live on the city's west side. Back to you. We're all very grateful that they reacted so quickly to your story and got the job done. That is good work, Ronnie. Thanks so much.